steals and forcing turnovers. Rose flips it up there, deflects it. Sprewell, Rose went down hard. And Sprewell ahead. Ewing and Rose ready to go at it. And Dick Pavetta gets in the way. Ewing's got to walk away. And now other players come in. Dale Davis goes at Ewing. It's gone into the first row of the crowd. This is where it could be very dangerous as the crowd gets involved. And there's going to be some penalties handed out on this one, and not just for this game. Ewing is very irate. Jeff Van Gundy trying to get away. Ewing well, pushing him. Well, no nicks left the bench, so luckily it was down on the far end, but all the other players were on the court. They were just trying to break it up. So no Pacers came off the bench to try to, to, to deny the, the fight. But what happened, if we can get a replay of that, what happened, Rose drove inside Ewing, harassed him, and then it seemed to me Rose inadvertently fell to the floor. So Ewing got the rebound, passed it off, and when Ewing was running up the court, Rose stuck his leg out and tripped him up. And that's when the altercation began. Dick Pavetta got a smack in the nose, apparently. He's bleeding on the bridge of his nose right here. The intrepid thing that he did get in between those two guys. They were ready to go to blows. That's why he's one of the best in the game. Did not hesitate right in the middle. Of course, a big question will be if any punches were thrown. No punches were thrown. No punches were thrown. It, it looked in that one case, it might have been. Let's look at the whole thing now. See, well, you in good harassment. Watch Rose fall down right there. See, he just inadvertently fell. Now watch him trip Ewing, chipped it up, and now this is when Verbetta got hit in the nose right there. Boom, he caught a punch, and then that's when the other players came in, but these guys were on the court, so Ewing did throw some punches. I don't know if, if they'll determine that a punch or just shoving off Dale Davis, but it was very close. And how many times have we said this, Clyde? The Knicks just can't walk away from these situations. Now, they're not totally at fault certainly Jalen Rose started it with the trip but the Knicks you think one of these days would learn just to walk away instead of taking a chance of suspensions so they're showing it now the crowd getting a, uh, the same look that we saw on TV you can hear how they're reacting to what went on I agree Mike he could have walked away from that man. absolutely he's got to and the way the Knicks have had some of their seasons end prematurely because of these type of incidents you think just once just wants to be able to walk away. So what's going on right now is Rose and Ewing offsetting technicals. Rose called for a punching foul, and he's been thrown out of the game. His punch hit the ref in the nose. That's how the ref got injured. So again, Jalen Rose has been thrown out of the game for a punching foul. Rose and Ewing each getting technical fouls. They're offsetting. So it's hard to say who's the instigator.